Hello everyone and welcome back to Eat Color. Today's recipe is Bucatini al Matriciano. Look at this you guys, this recipe is straight out of Rome and you're gonna love it because there's so few ingredients, it's so easy and quick to make and oh my gosh it's so tasty, so delicious. Um, okay, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and please leave me a nice comment. Bucatini al Machichana. Did I say that right? You guys, I am so famous for mispronouncing everything. But this dish, this dish is scrumptious. And uh, before we start, okay. All my Italian food critics out there, I know I'm going to be making this different than you are. And, and that's okay, but I really want you to give this a try. It, it, it's so easy, it's so delicious, and and this recipe, this version, is actually from a small little town in Rome. A really good friend of mine went to Rome, and he went to this small little neighborhood called Trust, what is it, Trastevere. And um, he went on this private little dinner cruise met the local chef, was able to get like the recipe, this recipe. He's been making it for years and now I've been making it and I'm telling you it is so good. So I can't wait for you to try this. So almost every Italian dish practically starts with olive oil, right? Well, this one doesn't. Why? Because the oil, the fat, is going to be coming from guanciale. What is guanciale? It is like the, the jowl of a pig. And it has got all the flavor we're going to need. It, it's got the flavor, it's got the salt, it's got the pepper, it's got everything in there. So let's just take a look at this guanciale. See um, all this white in here? This is all very important. This is all part of what's going to give us this flavor. And, and this is the rind. And we're actually going to cut this rind off. And we're going to set it aside. I'm going to use it later in the dish. But right now I'm going to show you how I'm going to go ahead and slice this up. Okay, so I've sliced up the guanciale, see, in these nice little pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead now and just slide it into my pan. And you see, I've got a nice size pan here because all the whole meal is gonna be cooking in this pan. But right now, we're gonna fry the guanciale on very low heat. So I'm gonna set my temperature on medium low. And we want now, we have to be very patient because, and I'm gonna show you the stages of how this is gonna work. But as it cooks, all the oil just kind of seeps out of it. And um, it's really great and exciting because it smells so good. But I wanted to tell you that it's easy to find guanciale in the grocery stores. A lot of times, maybe you just have to ask where they have it in the grocery stores. But if you can't find it in your local grocery store, maybe a Mexican um, grocery store or even Italian grocery store. But remember, it's the jowl of the pig. Um, let's just say you cannot find it anywhere. You can use pinchetta, um, and you can also use cured bacon, not smoked bacon, cured bacon. It won't taste the same, but um, you can use it. But here's my advice. Once you find the one, Charlie, go ahead and like get a good chunk of it. Like, you know, three or four pounds is not expensive. And then every time you do a dish, you could just, you know, cut, cut off a little section. It stays like forever in the refrigerator, or you can freeze it. Because like y'all, I have so many other great dishes that's gonna require the guanciale in it. So you do wanna get yourself some. We just need one garlic clove. And all we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna cut it, slice it in half, and place it into our oil. 
where we're gonna go ahead and let it brown on all sides. Our garlic is beautiful and brown on all sides. And I'm gonna go ahead now and we're discarding this. All we wanted to do was flavor this oil. Okay, I have chopped up a quarter of an onion, a quarter of an onion, and we're gonna put it in here and saute it and get it nice and, and translucent. Okay, so this is almost nice and brown, and we're gonna go ahead now and add a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I know, I know, no wine, you guys. A lot of people put wine in this. Don't get mad at me. But you know what's so great? We get to use balsamic vinegar because I'm probably gonna have red wine with this dish and not white wine. So I'm really kind of glad I'm not opening up a bottle of white wine. But here we go. One tablespoon in with the onions. Whoops. And we'll go ahead now and let this, um, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Dissolve by like a half. We're gonna let this just get cooking where we're gonna have half the juices here. Does that smell? Okay, just let it simmer. Okay, so my onion is in, and the juices are dissolved by a good half. And now it's time to put some tomato puree in here. This is the Chinto brand. You guys, it's the best brand to get. I screwed up last week when I made this. And like uh, people can tell, it's not as good if you don't put the good sauce in there. So let's go ahead now. We're going to pour this in. And we're going to add in the rind, the guanciata. Here we go. We're going to put that in there. And now we're going to let it simmer in here until it gets thicker. You have a splash, what do you call it, a splatter guard. That might be pretty good because this might start popping a little bit. Um, but yeah, here we go. Uh, anyway, and also if you haven't done so already, go ahead and get your water hot because we've got to cook a pound of pasta. We're going to cook a pound of Bukki Tea to check out. Again, the brand matters. Don't be shy. We got to, when we're gonna cook this, um, this pasta dough, okay, my water is boiling. And y'all look, you've got to add salt. I mean, a lot of salt, okay? And that's, that's important. Your, your pasta's not gonna taste good if it's not cooking in a lot of salt. Let me lower this because look, we're, whoops, we're popping. I have the worst laugh when it comes to tomatoes. It's popping on me. But yeah, this smells so good. Okay, so this is thickening. And in just a few minutes, I'm gonna put the pasta in, okay? I need to get on. Okay, this bucatini has been cooking. It only, it takes like between nine and 11 minutes. Now guys, we don't want it mushy. So let me just see, you want, this is very important for this to still be a little firm. Let's see. Mm. Oh, perfect. Okay. Mm. Okay, so now what we want to do, we don't want to drain this. This is important to get some of the water into our sauce. So you guys, I'm just gonna put this over here. I'm gonna turn this off. And let's see, I'm gonna try to scoop. Uh, this is the tricky part. Don't ask me how I'm gonna do this, but let's see. I'm gonna try to get, oh, there we go. And now we're gonna get our, all of our pasta into the nice hot simmering sauce. And the pasta water, we want the pasta water in here, we're good. Sauce in. It's important that once the pasta's ready, you want to go ahead and serve this. Look at this. The sauce got so nice. And remember, I've got some pork rinds in there. And okay, let's see. Here's one. You want to make sure you discard those because I don't think anybody wants to eat one of those guanciale pork rinds. What I want to do is show you how to plate this. So because we're not done. Okay, so here's my plate. We're gonna go ahead and get a, a big fork full here. And I'm gonna try to get it into this ladle. 
Here we go. I'm going to stir this. Get it in here. Here we go. Into the plate. Look at this. Let me show you what comes next. Well, he fell over, but that's okay. Next, now you want to put your gonchale on top. Look, I'm going to sprinkle some of that on there. And you need Pecorino Romano cheese. Bucatini al amatriciano. Right here. Let's see how it tastes, you guys. I need a fork and a spoon. Nobody judge me. My father taught us how to do this years ago when I was a kid. And I know, I know a lot of Italians don't use a spoon, but y'all I do because I still do because I don't want sauce all over my face and all over my clothes as much as I know I'm going to love it. But here we go. Look at this. Ah, I love pasta. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious, guys. Mmm. Y'all subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, leave me a comment. Let me know you made it this way, okay? Until my next video. Bon appetit.